if he's nine drone, so, so he's afraid of some kind of sneaky eight cracks, probably. What do you, do you think? There is an advantage doing this? I don't really like it because he have eight drones and nine mineral fields, so he's losing a lot of mining time. I think about 70 while, while, while um, scouting, 70, 80 minerals. So this is a lot, but but I think Gronish knows what he's doing. <laughs> you may be. Yeah, I, I think he knows because because maybe this is huge map and making like nine nine drone scouting, he will be able to scout second location before before. But right now he might lose his overlord. If no, he... I mean I mean if you think this is it's okay to do these nine scouts since. You are supposed to to sacrifice the the, the minerals, but you are also making the twelve hash before the pool anyway. Even if you are the scouting like this, then turns out it's a nine nine. You are behind in Nico. Yeah, you are a little bit behind, and hmm. But I think he would have like small advantage. Oh, he didn't scout. Maybe he scout this the barrack, this barracks, but. Having the scouting is, is very important and also right now when Terrans are playing this 1-1-1 one, one, one build If you are scouted with the drone, there is a raffinery going on You will, you are like, you have more information and you, you know what you should do uh, To to prevent uh, the, this this strategy from Terran to work So maybe that's why he is scouting from 9 drone because He would like to see if there is fast expansion with, with raffinery or, or just on barracks mm. So he may he may strutter before the T hatch. What yeah. do you think about that? Hmm. Um, I think it is pretty pretty early, and uh, and I don't know how it did. I mean, because right now it will not change a lot, but maybe in the fu in the future it will make the, the change that he will not have enough drones before the mutalisks. Or I don't know what do you, what to think about it. It will be like 15 seconds, 10 seconds difference, so maybe not, not a huge difference, but yeah, it ma it matters, like everything in StarCraft. Yeah, yeah, like you are rushing for, for there, then it means also the, the, the spy is getting early on. Uh, but um, I think uh, Goronich is missing drones. Yeah, he was supply blocked for a second, but right now... We can see that he have larva, but but he don't have money to spend. Resources. Six things, six versus five. Oh, yeah, the supply is in pretty nice position. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, and we will see five rags because Ultra is making engineering base, so it will be plus one upgrade for for weapon for marines. Oh, I, re I really like this SCB from from Ultra because yeah. now he can scout the surf. He will. And he will not be forced to 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 uh, spend scan on scouting. Because yeah, exactly. And if he wants to, now he can make a, a scans later on and just making more CBs. And he's scouting third expansion. Hmm. Yeah, just in case because it, uh, I think he didn't see the tier hatchery because uh, Gorinch made the strator for. First. Oh yeah, maybe. <coughs> you are probably right. Yeah, you are probably right. And the spire is on, and he will scout the spire with this STV pretty easily. The speed is not done yet. The links are coming back, so. But this overload will give Gornish information when when Terran will move out. So so he's pretty secure right now, and he know he will know when to add more sunkens. Hmm. It's like you are clicking like a beast right now. <laughs> Your APM must be pretty high <laughs> because <laughs> there is a viewer <laughs> complaining to <too> slow down. <laughs> yeah, you need to have a huge APM as a as a as a as a caster just to see everything. But I can see that there are two approaches of Terran to go for five racks. There is this one from Ultra when you are going for plus one upgrade, and there is one when you are adding second barracks very early. So, what are the differences from your perspective? Do you mean that so we, one of these strategies is better, or, or, or how can you see like scout it from from a Zerg perspective? Like, like the four and five. I so, mean, 
the one one barracks and and mar because all the marines ultra have right now are from one barracks the, the second barrack just ended and sometimes Terran are making the the second barracks before the academy even oh the, because uh, the, that way you can push early on you can you can uh, if you want you you can you can uh, deny the tier expansion like better you are for you are you are making more aggression, but the problem is that your factory will be behind. So this is like the little bit safer approach from Tegan player to go this way. This is a safer approach, but also like uh, I think what we are watching here right now is like a fake approach. Like he is not going to attack. He's just making. He's going for the the nine ten minute minus push. And he wanted to force some sankens, so it worked because because Gornish have three sankens. And this STV is, is scouting the position when Gornish probably will expand, so this is nicely done. Yeah, he should make an engineer. Or maybe a supply. The plus one for Marines will be done in a second. In the micro... One STV. Not a lot, but it is always something. Yeah, I think the two replacement is so good because each time he's uh, he's trying to do this, he's getting three torres attacking the mutants, so that's good. Hmm, yeah, that's true. And this is a lot of force. I mean, this is a lot of. Oh! Oh! This is a huge mistake. You can't make mistakes like this in ZVT, especially on this level, because every muta counts, and with this muta, he wants to keep control of of where the Terran units are and. Losing mutas for free is never good because this is yeah, gas it's very, it's very important to tempo the the the, the Terran. Just not letting him to walk out and do whatever he wants. He needs to to keep steaming, uh, keep holding, not just walking easily. And uh, Gornish is making very late ferret hatchery, ferret expansion. Yeah, I think he's going for this. Uh... Wait, he's making Hydra speed. Oh, is yeah. this a mistake? I, I think it is a mistake, because why would you do that? Oh, he's going for Guardians. He's going for Guardians? Oh, yes. Hmm. And he will try to go with counter-attack, because Ultra is moving out, and, and there is not a lot in the main base to defense. I mean, there will be nine Marines, four in the bunker, and five behind it, but this is it. And yeah, but there are two star ports. So. Yeah. He will be able to make rides very quickly. And Ultra knows. So he scouted the Spire. He scanned the Spire. Wait, he's attacking without without the whole army. <laughs> he left all the army. Oh, wow. That, that, oh. That, that, that was good. True saw that was good. <laughs> but yeah. Ultra, what are you doing next? Is this... He's making two buses. Yeah, and I, as uh, that what I, what I was saying to you when when we was watching the Wolfix game when he was for, when he was for having having four barracks, I told you that Ultra is playing on four, on four axes, and right now he's just adding two. But but he was playing on four axes before all the tech he he wanted was was gone was was done. Yeah, but now he's making more barracks. And I I mean I think he was a bit late making more barracks, but. Uh... Did he scout the main? Like guardians are coming? Oh, but maybe he's going for uh, for shine build when he was making the guardians plus hydra discs and lurkers. Mm. He's making lurker aspect. No, he didn't. I, I think he don't have. He missed the lurkers. So, but I wonder why he made the guardians in his main base. But the shine strat was with with a tier base. Yeah, that's true. And losing this base is. It is very hard for a Zerg player to play on two gases against against Terran. Why are you making the Wardens in your base like this? Hmm, and the oh. Hydras? It's going with a, for a front attack. But the Hydras will help to against against Rides, so this might be a genius move, but if the Guardians will be on top of the Hydra Risk, the irradiated Guardian will, will punish the Hydra Risk, so it will be really hard also. Uh, now if the army is coming from behind, a mega sandwich. But oh, no, they, they are too far. Yeah, they are a little bit too far, and right now the Marines are dying. The Bunker, the bunker is killing the Guardians. Yeah, the Guardians are taking damage, but there are a lot of... 
A lot of dragons, the Hedralists are killing the rides or not. This is not a good control. Yeah. He's losing all the guardians towards the bunker. Yeah, that's true. This right is dealing so much damage. It will go on right, it will die now, but it will be the sandwich you oh, were yeah, talking yeah. about. Such a nice yeah. sandwich. This is the snacks you will get for following BSL. This it's is the, such a nice snack. A this is a disaster yeah. for this one. Yeah, this is terrible situation for, for our Russian Zerg. Hmm, there is a lot of sunken, so he will be safe in the natural expansion, but how can he, he attack? How can he do anything to, to Ultra? This is the question. Two rights will kill. It's funny because Flash... Uh, wow! <laughs> Instant <laughs> GG! Whoa! And Ultra! Wow, well, GG! No, I was I was trying to tell you that Flash, the, the way he deals with players just doing this Guardian all in, is just making three Star Wars Grace. Oh, and, and after that he can make three Star Wars uh, vessels if he will have more expansions. Because you can make three Star Wars vessels from, from two raffineries, right? Yeah. And Ultra is leading against Gornish. This is I wasn't expecting that because because Gornish was favorite for for me uh, in this match. Yeah, but the way the way the games uh, turns out, uh, I think it was tricky. Like <laughs> it could it could go very very well or it could be a disaster. Yeah, it was a disaster. Because as you see, the, the bunker was attacking the Guardians. That's yeah. not supposed to happen. Yeah, I think he, he, he had a shot with this attack. If, if he would execute it better, he, he, better he, he would have like the chances. But he got too much, too much uh, fire on these Guardians and then the sandwich was terrible for him. <laughs> that, was like, that was an amazing sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it was better sandwich than I have, so... <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Rukoli? Um, what? The Rukoli, like this is the, the leaves of Rukoli, this is the salad. Mm. You mean broccoli? Mm, yeah, no, Rukoli. I mean, broccoli, broccoli is, is different vegetable. Mm. Anyway, th th let's not waste time. I don't like vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you like meat. You are a meat guy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like tomatoes, and that's it, I think. Oh, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> this is enough. Um, interesting scout by Gornish. I mean, I'm not that interesting because each time I, I cast a game with you, the set is scouting this way. Uh, and I really like the scouting because when you will see the, the whole map, um, you will see that he will go with the first overlord to the further, um, further cliff. And if Ultra would be on, on the left bottom uh, expansion, he, would, he wouldn't be able to kill this overlord. And the second overlord will have the clear path to the, to the second uh, cliff. So overall, it's, I really like this scouting pattern. I, tri I tried it one time by mistake against Terror, and he was doing Arax, and I lose my overlord. Oh yeah, that's that's terrible against against right oh, A2X, that's true. And, and honestly, I wasn't even trying to do this scout. It was just a mistake. Like I was, I, I was thinking I was playing <laughs> other map. I don't know. <laughs> then and sometimes it happens when you play a lot of games. You don't like focus on these small details, especially on ladder games or like friendly friendly trainings. But mm. hmm. let's see if, if we will see the quick extractor from Gornish again. I, I think he was trying to play like a mind game that he was uh, taking a, a hidden expansion a, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, hidden expansion. But yeah, no, this time everything looks normal. And he Maybe. will scout. He will scout that there is no Vespin Geyser taken by the Terran and he will take oh. his gas. Oh, nicely. Oh, and he cancelled it, but it didn't work. If it would be more Marine, he would escape probably, but... That was pretty stupid. Yeah, he lost like 17 <laughs> minerals. And, and the drone. Yeah, and the drone, so 67 minerals for a scouting. Sometimes, but... sometimes you can pay that much, but... Why not let the Strator finish then? <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
so, 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 so. More drones. Four links. Just to, to kill this SCV. Yeah, even six links. So, um, yeah, and Ulta is moving out of the Marines, so links can catch these Marines. With, oh, he wanted to intercept the Overlord. Very nice mind game, but Ultra, but Gornish saved his Overlord on top of this cliff. I have the feeling that he will lose all the Marines. <laughs> no, maybe not. Um, you know, I don't like this from, from Gornish, making that, uh, that many links early on. I think in modern, in the modern ser play style, you need uh, you need to focus just on drones, not not uh, six links early on. Yeah, especially on the early phase of the game when you you would like to saturate your expansion because right now we can see that Gornish is only having three drones in his natural expansion, so it is always nice to have at least one drone per one mineral field. My God, ten drones in the in the main. Just five drones in the national. Oh wait, yeah, ten drones. Yeah, right now he have ten drones, but hmm, and it's two barracks this time. This is the same strategy from Ultra. He's not going for some sneaky one one one. This is pure good old five barracks or four barracks plus oh, one. This is, a, this is a two barracks. Yeah, this is right now two barracks, but I believe. Plus, uh, the engineering bay indicates that it, it will be four or five barracks from Fortaleza. Oh, oh man, I, I'm sleeping maybe, I don't know what. I, I was thinking he would make the two barracks academy. But no, the, the, he was doing an upgrade with the engineering, I didn't see the engineering. So I was like, he will push with the two, uh, two barracks, two medics, two fibers, you know? <laughs> it's not that. It's too late to do that anyway. And again, we have scout from Ultra, so he will be able to scout the Spire and he will see how much Spire is done. And and this SCV, a second time in a row, his scouting is excellent. He's playing like a boss with his scouting SCV. Hmm. So, yeah, this is a normal game, the same strategy, just for barracks. Um, Goronish. Gornish this time is making a lot of links. Huh. Well, not, not that many, just, um, just 10. Just enough, just enough to hold Terran in his main base, just to like threaten Terran. If he will move out, he will be able to run by into his main base and kill some Marines. So 10 links is 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 fine number, I believe. He will have 20, 12 overall, so... I have the feeling that... Um... I don't know, I think Goronich is, uh, is playing like very old school, in a very old school way. He is very old school player, so, but... Yeah, but... But right now these links can be, can kill the marines in the, in the natural expansion, and this is why this, this, uh, these links are for. Uh, the fire bat will help, but the marines, oh, but the fire bat killed the links instantly and he's making more and more uh, i mean he's making two more creep colonies but will he will there be on time because he's not morphing them into sun cans yeah but the mutas he has mutas yeah he will have mutas to defend it but there are four medics a lot of medics yeah but three sun cans must plus mutas i think it's enough yeah it should be enough 11 oh this one link killed the turret <laughs> this is pretty funny <laughs> and look he at who like he had like eight links uh, that were trying to do damage, and it was one link killing one turn. And I really like that Ultra is learning from his bombastic starting games because he's placing the supply depots in much better position than in a previous <laughs> series. <laughs> yeah, look at that. This is the perfect position from for supply depot, and he sniped three mutas. Wow, this is huge. So. Like a lack of micro from Boron Gornich or a really good micro from, from the Terran. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, sometimes when Terran can step back and step forward, it is very hard. Yeah. And they can snipe the Muta instantly. And this is such so annoying. Yeah, I would like to punish this Terran instantly with some good Muta, Muta shots. And look how much. I really like that Ultra is having so much medic, so many medics with this army. Because when you will steam this army twice, if you would have three medics, the, the energy would 
would would uh, end instantly. He's making the the hydra then so 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 late and the and the lord craspet is, is too late and the 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 hive also is pretty late. Everything is is delayed on Gornish, but uh, yeah, the, the biggest thing account. is that he don't have expansion. He's doing a counter attack right now with Mutaline, and it looks like it's working. Yeah, it is very nicely done, time, uh, timing attack. 11 mutas is a lot, it don't look like it is 11 mutas, but it is. And he just need to kill some more marines. And But yeah, oh. Whistler is probably right, this is probably turn rate 8, because it is very hard to micro on this, this kind of lag. Turn, turn rate 8? Yeah, in 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 the in this game, there was probably having turn rate eight. Oh. STB Kane is hosting our stream with twenty three viewers. Thank you, my friend, and uh, welcome, Kane boys and girls. Thanks, welcome. man. Thanks. Uh, you you are having a free snack from the BSL. Yeah, you will having free snack, and you will have a free spot on BSL offline in Chicago. So, <laughs> so welcome. <laughs> no, no, no. You need to you need to fight for the spot. Oh, he wants to snipe the science facility. It was close, but it didn't work. Oh, Ultra is Ultra said that it was turn rate 16 game, so we don't know Ultra. We just uh, we yeah, just I, guessing. But I, do, I don't think uh, I think he's right. Why we are talking about TR? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, um, it doesn't make sense because Ultra is playing such a nice game that. That it, it, I mean, he deserves the position he's in. So it is a little bit unfair from our perspective to, to judge. It's time for a counter attack. I don't see many units. One worker is morphing. There is nothing. Yeah, there is three Sankens and one Lurker. And how many Marines there is? Like 20 probably. There is seven medics. Yeah. And this this is so hard to kill Marines. And this well, look at the upgrades. One one upgrades against zero zero ground army. We don't, I don't see any evolution chamber, so yeah, it will be hard. <laughs> Avilov said South Americans always lie. Definitely turn eight. And then <laughs> yeah, but look at the links of Gornish. They are like they were sent with shift move probably. Hmm. And two vessels will kill the lurkers instantly. So it's only one lurker now? No, the, the one is coming. Ooh, double drop ship from Mr. Ultra. Wait, where is he? Where is he? Uh, oh, he's making it now. Yeah, he's building them. And yeah, Gonish sent a few more lurkers, so he will be able to defend this expansion at least for now. Yeah, there is no way he's. Uh... <laughs> He's breaking this round. Yeah, and at it, least now with two vessels. And look at the supplies. This is pretty nice for Gornish. He's having some drones, uh, so he can add like two more hatcheries right now. Add evolution chamber to make upgrades and transition into into a longer game. So the question is, yeah. what? Yeah, we... but it's tricky. It's tricky because uh, everything is delayed. Oh, and I the dropships! Oh, dropships will be scouted by the mutas. Or not? Yeah. How many is dropping now in the main? <laughs> so, it was excellently done by by the ultra, and he even at, unpacked the the uh, yeah. He even unpacked the the, the fire oh, no. first. <laughs> losing everything. Yeah, he's losing almost everything. This is plus one one bio army. So hard to kill. Why he is not uh, irradiating the lurkers? Yeah, he just irradiated two of them. There will be one lurker left, and he can irradiate two more. Wait, wait! Don't don't attack. Ah, <laughs> uh, the fighter, the fighter. Where is the consume? Oh, but he don't have anything to fight under the swarm, oh, and there, there no will fire be back. fire. But oh yeah, so but all the mutas are going down, and look at the supply. After mutas dead are dead. The supply of Gornish fall down. And oh, he'll probably snipe, the, snipe the, Nidus. the Nidus, yeah. You see, he doesn't have any any ground upgrades, so the links are not doing any damage. Yeah, that's true. And the medics can heal so quickly. 
Oh my god, it was precious. such a nice pressure from Ultra. But he was <laughs> that, that Muta move from the dodges. <laughs> it was so yeah, he killed himself with this Muta move, probably. If he would stay in the position he was in, the dropship would turn away because he would be afraid to move. Oh, him. he's sniping the Nidus again. Yeah, and he will be able to do it. Yeah, Nidus is dead, so Gornish will have a very hard time to send reinforcements again. Yeah, but he he sent it free over free lurkers uh, on the cliff, but they will be minutes, forty minutes, and he he doesn't have any any ground upgrade. Yeah, he didn't start at his upgrades yet because Ultra is applying so much pressure, and he ha he has a tier a tier expansion. Yeah, up and running, so he out expanded there because they have five drones overall. He should be making like two more barracks and <laughs> probably one more starport since he's just playing escape and just start mass drop mass drop chips or BCs. Oh yeah, BCs like focus on Zerg to to make totally different unit composition and you need um, to make uh, gas forcing, heavy storages. I'm cleaning a scourge and forcing a scourge and then this give free way to the draw chips. Yeah, that's true. Hello, Mr. Shamtu. Shampoo in the house. Yeah, Shamtu in the house. A very nice marine. This is the scan marine, probably. Scans marines. So it's 2 2 against 0 0. Yeah, this is so hard. And he just started plus one upgrades for car pace, but. It is so hard to fight without upgrades. Look this damage! Look at this damage! <laughs> wow! That was a nice job. Yeah, that was nice, nice looker, but if there would be two medics, this army would be dead. Oh, Gornish is making a move. Yeah, he wants to make another expansion, but I would like to see one more hatchery from him, because he's fighting on five hatcheries overall right now, and Ultra is having three expansions. He's making fourth command center. And, and the number of vessels is, is grown. Oh, such a nice plague on the vessels. This is very important. Like, this is this shows you who is a good Zerg and who is like medium, medium skill Zerg. If you can kill the, the vessels, you, you are ghost to Zerg. Because if you will allow Terran to have like 8 to 10 vessels, this is almost impossible to, to fight against Terran with these numbers of vessels. But sometimes you can't do anything about it. Yeah, sometimes if Terran is good, you can't do, but... But you should at least try to do something about it. And, and at, at least from my perspective, this is impossible. You need to have too much APM to do it. No, and I mean, sometimes you are having like <laughs> 12 scores trying to snipe vessels, and you snipe like maybe one. And then you see other games um, that there are two random scores that no one is taking attention or anything, and he's killing vessels. <laughs> sometimes, oh, drop in the main. Play yeah, this ex <sighs> yeah, there was a plague. I was waiting for that nice plague on the on the huge army. But look how small the number of of drones is, and he sniped the Nidus. Oh my God, this expansion is falling. Ah, oh, but the army is just in this plague. This army, this, <laughs> this, this army, army is, is very. This hard. army is so dead right now. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine one <laughs> Lurker shot right now. Right now, I mean, ten five Hydras would kill this army right now. Oh my God, this army is so dead. <laughs> <laughs> Are you attacking oh, with this army? Oh yeah, he attacked! Wait, what was happening? <laughs> what is going on right now? I think Luka is applying too much pressure on Gornish and... It's too HP army, how is that possible? Whoa. Oh, more Scourge? <laughs> Privyet, buddy. Hello, Tokia. Privyet, yeah, that's true. Oh, such! A, I really like the usage of this of the vessels from Ultra. He don't have a ton, too much energy on them, just like just like Wolf Wolf. Oh, head. intercepting the the defiler. What did he? You had the, oh, he then irradiated the egg, but everything is dying from Ultra. I mean, only one. Oh wow! If you irradiate one egg, they will get a. Uh... The links will go out with two irradiates. Oh. And he made battle cruisers just as you said. 
Auto Cruiser Operation. Yeah, but the cruiser is so hard to kill, and this is too old for Ultra. Whoa, I didn't expect that. If you would ask me about the score before the match, I would bet on Gornish, and Ultra played so well. Uh, you made the mistake of not asking me that. I would probably bet with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.